Hello and welcome back to day 6, 7, and 8 of the Stardew Valley Min Max and Perfection Run. Today we will be doing some catfishing. Got a little from the wizard right there inviting us to his place. We might check that out today. I forget. But first of all, we need to chop down some wood to make a scarecrow. I probably should have done this earlier. Uh, we got lucky and no crows got any of our crops. But scarecrow, get that down as soon as possible because lose a couple crops and could be a game changer. You don't want to lose crops, especially when you can prevent it. Anyway, we need to go to the backwoods to get our furnace, which I accidentally left there, but that's fine. I grabbed the furnace and we're heading down to go catfishing. I think I'm gonna go to the wizard first. Yep. Uh, some wild horseradishes. That's what six wild horseradishes a lot of wild horseradishes but anyway skip the wizard cutscene seen it a lot of times don't need to see it again and we're off to catch some catfish if today was not raining I would recommend going up to the mountain lake and not meeting the wizard today wait until it rains to meet the wizard because we still have day seven eight nine I forget if ten or not we fish on but we have a few more days to fish and most likely you'll get at least one rainy day if not just choose one of the days to meet the wizard doesn't really matter which day all these days are pretty much the same other than the fact that some of them will need to sell stuff to get money to upgrade our pickaxe and whatnot but yeah today I met the wizard because I was already down here catfishing, and catfishing because it's raining, so, again, rain, catfish, no rain, mountain lake. So tomorrow we will need 5,000 gold at least to get the iron pickaxe, so if you have enough money in minerals, you could always sell the minerals to Clint when you're there. But most likely, you'll need to sell some fish to get that money. So, and even then, if you want to be safe and sell the minerals beforehand, you should probably do this around, I think, 1 o'clock is the cutoff, 1, 1 a.m., in order to get back to the farm safely tonight. And then we'll go ahead and sell enough stuff in the shipping bin so that we have $5,000 tomorrow. Looks like I also have some money on me right now. I forget what from, but there's a good chance we won't pass out in order to keep that little chunk of money right there. I'm still really hoping for a Neptune's Glaive, or even a Broken Tritant at this point for the mines. I'm off to a pretty good run. I've gotten a good amount of ores from chests, I've gotten, I, I've done a good amount of catfishing with like getting a good amount of catfish as compared to other fish sort of thing, and I don't want the run to go to waste. I don't think it'll go to waste even if I don't get the Neptune's Glaive or the Broken Triton. Again, uh, I already know what happens because this is, I did the run a while ago and I'm recording now, but I won't spoil it for you, but even if you don't end up getting a weapon, you'll probably be fine in the mines, just don't kill the enemies, just get down to floor 90, or 100, or I think it's 90, where you get the obsidian's edge, and you'll be fine with the obsidian's edge then. I know that's like over half of the mine where you are without a good weapon, but you could also get like lucky with like getting a forest sword or a club or something but usually you can just avoid killing enemies um one thing in this run that i do um that i thought was a little bit unique is i get the dust sprite ring 
So I actually spend almost like two full or like two and a half full days um, of just farming dust sprites in order to get the burglar's ring. And I think it actually paid off because I noticed myself getting, when, once I got the Skull Cavern, I noticed myself getting a lot more stuff. So basically what the burglar ring does is sort of doubles your chance at every monster drop. So basically, say like a serpent has like a one out of a hundred chance to drop like a prismatic shard. It's not going to double it and make it two out of 100, but it's going to just like repeat that um, chance twice. So, so basically if you don't get that item, it'll re-roll it, or re-roll your odds at getting it, so it's very helpful, it definitely, definitely gets you better RNG, gets you a lot more items, so, downside is it costs like two days, it costs a lot of time, but even then, while you're farming those dust sprites, you get a good amount of coal, you can get a good amount of ores and stuff, so, I say it's worth it. It's up to the player on which, uh, whichever they think is better, going for it or not. But I personally think it was the right choice. I think it helped the run rather than hurt the run. But I think you can argue either way. And again, most of the run, the there's a lot of just random chance of all involved, stuff you can't control. So you just got to make the most of whatever. And we're on day seven now. Today is another day of fishing. Since it's not raining, we're gonna go to the mountain lake. I grab gold to smelt. I also need to water the crops. Another really nice thing about rain is it automatically waters the crops for you. I always find watering the crops is one of the most, I don't know, one of the most annoying things for me in Stardew Valley. I don't really enjoy watering crops manually. I like the sprinklers. So, once we get those, it'll be nice. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm grabbing some spring onions and some forageables. I might be completing a community center bundle. That's why I have the single gold ore. Oh, so it looks like yesterday I sold enough for the the pack as well as iron pickaxe. The pack is more of a the backpack is more of a quality of life sort of thing. Um, you don't need it this day. Obviously, you'll need it before you get into the mines. Having one row of inventory in the mines is going to be awful. But right now. It's nice to have, so you can kind of pick that up whenever you can. I think it's good to do it on today because you're already running some errands in the community center and to clints and whatnot. It's always nice to keep errands on the same day. But yeah, all these days are carefully planned out with the errands and whatnot. Try to minimize the time in between stores and we also need enough money for the rest of the gold ore that we need. I think that's why I brought the gold ores, because um, I'll be buying some anyway. Just might as well stack it. So, you see I got pretty lucky, pretty lucky from those geodes, obviously. Um, I mentioned last time that I'm using the geode predictor, which I think is perfectly fine. It allows us to get some minerals, some more gold ore, so we don't have to spend more money on it. And today's Lewis's birthday, so I decided to give him a daffodil. Pretty much everybody likes daffodils. I don't think George does. George doesn't really like flowers or much at all. He just kind of likes his leeks, but that's okay. We're gonna head up to the mountain lake finally. It's already almost noon. So those errands took quite a while, but 
they had to be done and we finally can get to fishing finally get to making our money something I haven't talked about yet is the spots I've chosen for fishing so at the ocean the spot I think I chose was near Willie's shop um, a lot of people fish out by like the, the lonely stone or whatever you call it which is fine it's deep water but really you, you just need to fish in deep water um, on the wiki there's maps of like what water is considered what deepness and what tier you get the fish from and whatnot so essentially the spot in the ocean was perfectly fine for my needs it was close to Willie's shop and a convenient location right here is convenient I don't have to walk across that bridge right there to get like near the log from the upper location by that tree up there I can reach it fine um, from right here and I also have a nice place to put the furnace and the chest and same thing with the river fishing for the catfish it's a spot where I can reach um, the right quality of fish I'm not exactly familiar like knowing of how the fish quality works sometimes it's a little confusing for me but I know the further out you cast the further the water is from like a land tile the better the quality will be so and obviously we want iridium quality fish now iridium quality fish you'll only get a few perfect cast because the base will be gold and then if you perfect catch you'll get one higher tier and once you get to like a high enough fishing level and you cast far enough out you'll pretty much get gold tier every time and then iridium if you get the perfect catch so I think there are some bubbles up there yep we go for the bubbles and I recommend whenever there's bubbles make an effort to go for the bubbles because the bite rate is pretty much doubled you get like twice as many fish and therefore twice as many chances at treasure chests which is nice we're still looking for a weapon so maybe we'll get one maybe we won't our inventory is full right now which is not ideal if we get another treasure chest and we'll have to do some shuffling oh wait we have two rows so we're probably fine forgot about that still used to having one row but it is filling up and we have to always be aware of that so something to keep in mind now earlier you did see me give Mayor Lewis a birthday present I will do my best to give people gifts on the their birthday because eventually in the end I'll be wanting to get max hearts with everybody as quick as I can so I won't go crazy out of my way to give people gifts but I'll try to incorporate giving gifts to people um, a little bit later on in the run and especially on birthdays I'll go out of my way for people's birthdays I think this month I might miss like some of the later birthdays in the spring maybe like Shane or somebody because of uh, Skull Cavern diving but generally birthdays I want to do a lot of min max runs you don't need to if you're just going for money but again I'm going for the um, Mr. Key perfection as fast as possible sort of thing so yeah so we're pretty safe to pass out we only have 74 gold you lose I think 10% so we'll lose only 7 gold and that's perfectly fine I don't know if we're leveling up in anything so might have to worry about our energy but again if you exert yourself too much you'll wake up with like what half energy if you pass out you might or maybe sometimes you wake up with like one energy I don't know I don't remember exactly but I think we might level up something we'll see 
Yeah, we got level 9 fishing. Great. So, tomorrow or the day after that, probably get level 10 fishing. I always feel like the stretch between 9 and 10 takes so long, That's especially when I play casually. It just felt like forever, but in this run, we're speeding through the fishing levels. Organize stuff and get going. I destroy the weeds because I don't want um, myself losing crops to the weeds. If you let the grass get too close or like the the weeds get too close. I think the grass is fine. I think it's the weeds that you don't want getting too close. I think grass is perfectly fine to get close to your crops. So good luck on the beach with foraging. Three different things. Um, some of those stuff will be able to go in the crab pot bundle, which is nice. We'll need to fill up that community center bundle at some point. I forget why I came to the ocean. Probably gonna buy bait from Willy's. Sell some random stuff from Willy. Buy some bait. Yep. Yeah. I just need to buy a lot of bait because I was running low. Stock up on that. And now I believe we're gonna head up to go mountain fishing. And pretty soon we're gonna be heading to the mines. If we give Willy the pickaxe tomorrow. Well, we'll get our pickaxe back from him and then upgrade to the gold pickaxe. That'll be on the 9th, so then the 11th is when we get the pickaxe back. And I think the 11th we will go straight into the mines and trying to get some progress done in the mines. And it'll surprisingly go fast because we have the gold pickaxe and those rocks will only take one hit each up until like the final floor, or even the final floor, I think, once you get the gold pickaxe, some of the... I think they're two hits. I don't remember. But anyway, it'll be fast, and what'll make it faster is if we get a weapon. That's what we're looking for, a weapon. So any of these treasure chests right now, we want a Neptune's Glaive, we want a Broken Trident. So... I'm really hoping for one, really, really hoping for one, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, I believe I have the five gold bars I need, so I'm going ahead and just smelting iron or whatever extra ores I have, because it's always good to be smelting something. We'll need the bars of iron and gold for sprinklers, we'll also need quartz for sprinklers, we'll also need copper for more furnaces, we're gonna have a lot smelting at once eventually, so it's a lot to do. Starting to feel exhausted, probably should eat some chub, but yeah, we're more treasure chests, hopefully these, oh! There we go. We we got the broken triton and a diamond with it. So yeah, obviously I knew this was going to happen. I I did this run. This is a voiceover, but still we got it. We got the broken triton. It's going to make life so much easier in the mines. We're going to be able to um kill things so much faster and actually after using the Broken Triton, I almost think I like it more than Neptune's Glaive. Um, every time I've played Stardew Valley, I've got a Neptune's Glaive after um, it would be useful, like way later into the game. I've never used it early game, but using the Broken Triton, I liked it a lot, and I like the dagger. I almost kind of liked it better than having a sword early on. Eventually, like, I prefer the Galaxy Hammer in the end game, the hammer with the combo like smash right into like the hit you kind of like stun lock the enemy sort of thing it's it's really nice we got sebastian coming for his nightly smoke to watch us fish i guess he's has a keen interest in watching us fish maybe he'll bring us some luck and what do we have here a second broken triton second broken triton you know the chance of that it's probably like i don't know that that like again we don't need a second one but 
chance of that are crazy because I think they have like a less than a 1% chance, about a 1% chance of getting a broken trident or a Neptune's Glaive, so that's just insane that we got two. Like, I guess we were begging for it so much that the game gave it to us. RNG is on our side. And we got pretty lucky with the treasure chest. I completely forgot what luck today was. Maybe it was a super luck day. I do know luck does affect uh, treasure chests. I don't think I don't know if it affects what's in them. It might, but I do know you get more treasure chests when it's a better luck day. So today was good. We got a good amount of fishing done, and we got the broken triton. And every time we get a diamond, that's good too. So we did pretty well, but. Still got three hours left in the day, so we're continuing to fish, um, continuing to smelt as well. I'm just letting that copper sit there. I might not have anything else to smelt, which is why I'm just leaving it there. Artifact. I'll hold on to the artifacts, because eventually I'll want to donate everything again. I'm going to try to complete the museum, complete all the stuff to the 100% perfection. So... Another, not another treasure chest. What do we got here? A third. A third broken triton. And two rubies, which is 500 bucks right there. So that's nice. But a third broken triton? What? Like. Again, I, I, I went through like, maybe like 20, 30 treasure chests. Probably not that much, but. And a dress spinner. That's pretty impressive. But three broken tritons in one day. The odds of that are probably just insane. Like, again, we don't need three. But still, just the fact that we got three broken tritons in one day is kind of crazy. So, I'm glad we got one. It's going to make the mine so much easier. But, there we go. That's it for this day. Are we going to hit level 10 fishing? I don't think so. We're going to probably need to fish a little bit more for that. But there we go. Next time we'll do a little bit more fishing and then we'll get back to the mines. Thanks for watching and see you next time.